Okay, here is the beginning of a real quick lake fill update. It's January 7th. And we're starting to get this rain event that's supposed to be coming all the way through tomorrow afternoon. Doesn't sound like there's going to be much rain as far as volume, but with everything frozen and uh, the ground being frozen, an inch of rain could equate to like three or four inches in filling. So I'm just documenting where we are at our beginning point here. Let's take a look at our yardstick. Above the ice we have 6, 12, let's say 15 inches, 14 or 15 above the ice. And the ice is roughly 6 to 8 inches thick because we are out there today fishing on it. Alright, here we are January 8th. We got rain all night long. Not sure if it was enough to move the ponds at all. Let's take a look at our measuring stick. Well, it might have come up an inch maybe from last night. So, and you'll see in a separate video, but look at the new beach ruined, or at least partially ruined. So, uh, back to the drawing board there, but stay tuned as we get more rain. I will continue to bring you lake fill updates. Somebody's walking on the ice. You ain't gonna find any fish out there, mister. Maybe he's going to go to my tire and check it out. Alright, here's the update. January 10th, about 4 p.m. I think, and looking at the beach there, we've put on some more water. Let's check exactly how much. Oh yeah, goodness. Probably four inches. Wow, we've had steady rain. That's obviously what uh, washed out the beach right there. It just hasn't been hard rain, it's just been steady. So, and I believe I see the other lake still running back there. There's some kind of disturbance. I bet you that's running, running over, which will keep filling this one even faster. And the tire is still there. It's been warm though. It's been like 59, 55. Now and then it's going to be 20, either tomorrow or the next day. So yeah, boy, it is coming up. So stay tuned. Next rains we get, I'll keep bringing you updates, but inch by inch, we are moving up.